Hey everyone, now that it's snowing out and it's freaking cold, it's time to fix the plow truck. <laughs> Whew, we got a bit of snow here. Poor Tankenstein. That's got to get inside too, hopefully this week, I don't know. Running behind on projects. The old Pathfinder is not doing too well. Um, she's on its last legs, but oh well. Still runs good, so we're going to keep using her. Um, I'm going to take the back seats out so I can put more firewood in there. Give me a little bit more capacity. Because it's only lasting about a week. Then I have to run in the field and get some more. So what I'm going to try to do, now that it's good and cold, is uh, put a block of wood in there and jack that up. Um, the bottom braces well to the frame. It's bent it down. So I need to bend all this back up. If this doesn't work, I'm going to ram a tree with this. Try to push it back to the grill a little bit, at the very least. At the very least, I guess, uh, if I, I can just brace it from here to the inside of the top of that frame. I'll take this grill out. Um, maybe take the headlights out and mount them up here where they're supposed to be. Because they're not doing much good there. Um, yeah, big piece of steel in the garage. Well, it's there to there, so it doesn't keep... Well, as I hit a bump or hit something, that keeps pulling it down like this. You can see, this used to be straight up and down, so not doing me much good there so this might be a two-parter because I gotta go soon <laughs> anyway let's see what we can do okay one of the problems I'm having is this old jack I got I'm thrown out at work there's a reason for it, it doesn't want to go up very high probably because the fluids low but I might have to use that bottle jack if I can't get it up high enough put enough weight on it to bend it back which probably won't happen yeah I should have a block of wood under here. This isn't going to work. Not too well, anyway. It's just going to flip. I can see it happening now. Oh well. You're going to see a tree action in a minute. I think. I can hear it creaking, but... Come on. Come on. Just need a bit more. You guys can't see what's going on here. It's not uh, it's not working the way I want it. No. Not enough. Alright. Lifting it right off the ground. Alright, tree action next. Okay, get my camera out of here, get snow all over it. It's a bit better, that'll do. Just gotta brace it up next. I know what you're gonna say, don't kill a tree, but you know what? That tree's coming down anyway. It's all rotten, it's wrecking the roof of my house. It's coming down, it's rotten in the center. Same with that one right there. That's my next year's firewood right there. Now I'm, uh, Looking into building an outdoor wood furnace, so I want something that can heat a shop and a house at the same time and use less firewood than I am now. So let's get at her. Holy frig, boys! I almost didn't make it out of there. It's a good thing I didn't have the plow and I would have been stuck. Look at that. I was pushing the snow in the field. She's nasty back there. The problem is all the snow on top and that rain we had before it, the ground didn't freeze. I almost got stuck while well, we were stuck, but I got out. It's a good thing I had tire chains on the back because uh, would have made it. But uh, now that I've got a, a couple of trails made in there, I should go again tomorrow before I put the plow back on after I fix it and uh, 
break the trail some more what that's going to do is expose the the mud and that and let it freeze solid and then i'll be able to go right on top of it but uh yeah, that was a pretty nasty ride i should have took you guys with me and the kids i only got a little bit of firewood because i want to take the seats out of the back but yeah all right until tomorrow what's that where's squirrels where's squirrels at anyway so uh so all this has to do is hold the weight of the plow and that's the problem because i got no shocks in the back it's been bouncing around so um it's ripping itself out of the bumper here so i need to go from here into this bracket right here because and then possibly up into the body part here um there's not a lot to, not a lot to weld to <laughs> and i'm not sure <coughs> yeah that hooks on the frame so the frame is right here behind there this bolts right to it so um it may end up moving the condenser but i don't really want to take that out that's extra protection against the snow and other stuff so all right so i got a piece of angle on it here and i cut it down the length i'm gonna get it in here somehow weld the crap out of it then i'll come back with my saw my cutoff saw and, and notch it here and bend that down onto here it's just going to be like a quick cobble fix like i said it this thing's never going to be on the road and some people said why are you plowing with a pathfinder for it's too small well it is too small for the plow but it was a hundred bucks this is what i got <laughs> so that's all we got in well i got more into it now but anyway so that's what we're doing i'm just going to mark it here first then i'll cut it off after on the ground Okay, so I angled the end piece here a little bit, and we're going to run a nice bead in here and here. I'm going to cut it down here and pound that flat onto that. Um, and the other side, you can see this or not. This is like a big time cobble, but you know what? I don't really care. Yeah, I'm going to weld to that bracket that's already on the frame right there. If you can see that or not, I'm going to run a bead along there. That should strengthen it up on both sides enough that I can use it. I'm going to have to get rid of the... <coughs> that stupid uh, uh, receiver dryer out of there so I can weld that side. Get back to you in a minute. But anyway, the AC has been long gone. And this little girl. Right. There we go. Lighten her up a bit. Alrighty. It's half welded in there. Uh, find a pair of ice grips or something. Kind of springy. I don't care. Holy freak, boys, my toes are starting to get cold. All righty. Okay, second side weld it. Not my best fabrication work ever but you know what it's uh good enough for this if i was in a shop heated shop and all that probably would have put a different front bumper on it but i don't have time for that i barely have time to do anything anymore but anyway let's hook the plow to it and give her a test dry dr uh, plow
this is what the body looks like on 96 Nissans here up here in Canada. Look at the back bumper. <laughs> the whole underside is like that. Well, the frame part anyway at the back. My whole, my uh, frame weld job is holding up pretty good. Um, yeah, I think it's going to work. I couldn't tell the bumper was flexing, but I pushed her pretty good. Oh, watch out for the forge. Anyway, the real test will be coming in when I go in the field and plow out there. But uh, I have to wait till I get the kids dressed here. Get you guys in a minute. All right, the battery's almost dead, so let's try this out. First gear. The camera, dude. I say it was a success. Aww. Hey, you like that? Look how much snow we pushed. Yeah. Whoa. Let's see if we can bust yeah. it so I can fix it again. <laughs> eh? Why do you want to do that? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just silly. Follow the tracks that you were on last time, Dad. I will. Daddy's lost all the brakes, too. That's scary. How come it's scary? <laughs> you like that? Oops. I may have to put the blade up now. I'm kind of stuck. What was that? What's happening? Spinning. Hang on. Let's see if we can push it or not. It's all thawed out right up there. It might get stuck in here. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, the blade um, angle enough. You know what? I'm not going in there. Daddy, you're going to get stuck. No, I'm going to put the blade up because, uh, <laughs> yeah, forget that. All right. Definitely not going to try to plow that yet. Well, that didn't work. It worked for a little bit, just tore it all the shit. Oh well, back to the drawing board. I'm gonna have to drop the blade right here because I can't get out of here like this. There's no way, look. Son of a gun. There's another one spot. Oh, ah. And we'll go around that spot. I don't want to get stuck in there again. What's that smell? With the gasoline in the back. The can. This, this thing tastes gasoline? Yes. Oh. I don't know if we could. Uh oh. Oh, big mud hole. Where'd that come from, eh? Get out of there with a load of wood on or not. All right, after that little failure, <laughs> I uh, reinforced it with quarter inch plate steel across the top. I should have put something more in there. You see, I had to jack the crap out of it. It's almost right off the ground. The weight, you push it back into place. Now, I added two little quick pins I got at Princess Auto to make it a quick attach, kind of. I'm not going to show you the hack job welding I did, but you can see I patched it. Um, I, my mistake I made was I used uh, old bed railings. Um, it's very brittle. And it was kind of thin. I kind of knew that, but I thought it was going to be alright because it doesn't support any weight until you pick the plow up. Apparently, pushing in that, it does. Anyway, so made a quick attach. Yeah, so there you go. Alright guys, leave me a comment down below and always rate, good or bad, I don't care, and try sharing it this time. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, it's kind of, uh, next thing I have to do is add the hydraulics. I have the hydraulic hose, the pump's already mounted in here. All I have to do is put the controls on, which I already have. One hand here, here's the pump. It's already in there. Big pump in the belt. It's all set up. Just have to put the controls back in it on top and then uh, add hose. Hydraulic ram here, fix that thing. It's not the way I want it. Alright, talk to you guys later.